Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jyoti Mandala. Welcome you all to the video lecture series on the course Unity 3D. From this lecture onwards, we will be working with C sharp with the Unity. Up to our last lectures, we have understood uh, in the Unity editor how to design a scene which includes different types of objects and to that objects you can connect different components as per your requirement. I hope you all could able to do that one. Alright, so from now onwards, we are going to connect the C sharp with the Unity. Generally, C sharp is a programming language uh, where we can develop console applications. If you are developing console applications, output will appear in the command prompt, command prompt window, but which is not a game development. So to as we are working with Unity, uh, which is towards game development, we are going to use c sharp script in unity games where output will appear in console to win console window uh, that is in our unity editor or else we can make we can have an output in the form of uh, uh, displaying on the scene also so i am from i am not going to talk in detail about how c sharp programming can be done and all we will be only learning the things which help us in designing an interactive elements where interactive components those components are your c sharp script which can be connected to our objects to create an interactive scene okay all right so before proceeding further let us understand let, let us make sure like our code editor unity is already set up with the required software uh, where we are going to write down our c sharp scripts so let us start setting up our code editor with Unity. So I'm going to make you understand in Windows operating system how to do that one. So let's open the um, Unity Hub. So whenever you open the Unity Hub, uh, this is the thing, all your existing projects, whatever you have done till now, might displayed here. But to proceed with the C sharp, uh, you need to ensure like whatever uh, editor you have installed unity related it also includes the package of visual studio community to ensure that that is done go to installs there the version of your unity whatever you have installed is available now go to the settings you can click on add modules now here you can see already i have installed microsoft visual Com studio community if this is already at the time of installation you have selected then automatically it will be installed along with the required software but no need to worry if it is not installed you can select that one you might be seeing a checkbox here select that one and click on the install I am repeating once again, if it is not there and it is asking you to install that one, select that box and click on install. Now, the setup will start. Okay. One thing I want to, uh, I want you people to understand is whenever you are installing, no, make sure like you are selecting three elements. First one is you are selecting Node.js development. Next, .NET development. Select these two and also Make sure like you are selecting game development with Unity checkbox also. Make sure like you are selecting all these three and then click on next install install install. So it will take some time to make your system ready. So once the installation is done, again you can go to install to the editor and there you can see add modules your Microsoft Visual Studio community is available. I hope you all have done this one. Still, again, if you want to ensure, I'll tell you the other way also. Let us start creating one new project. So, click on the new project. 3D build in render pipeline. Create any name. So, I will be creating second C sharp. Right? Set the path and then create project. So it will take some time to create your project. 
because this is the first time I am creating, this is the new project I am creating whose name is second C sharp. Make sure like you already install the related the Visual Studio community. I am repeating one more important point here. If you are working with the Windows operating system, you need to install Visual Studio community. If you are working with Mac OS, then you need to install Visual Studio code. Visual Studio community is for Windows. Visual Studio code is for Mac. All right. Now, this is a new um, game, uh, a new project that we have created now, whose name is um, uh, Second uh, C Sharp. Right. Okay. To ensure that Visual Studio uh, is available in your environment, go to Edit option and click on Preferences. In that Preferences, select External Tools. In the external tools, you if the Visual Studio is successfully installed, you can see Visual Studio 2022 is it should be there. Ensure this is there. If it is not there, again try to install that one. And while installing, make sure like you are selecting the three options what I have told earlier. We can confirm, we can proceed further uh, uh, to work with C-sharp scripts. So I want you all people to, pro to follow these instructions and ensure that your system is ready to work with C-sharp co-editor. So if you're still facing any issues, let me know in the chat box. I will be very happy to help you all. From the next lecture onwards, we will be starting working with the C-sharp uh, scripts. Thank you for watching this video. Let us all meet in the next lecture. Until then, thank you.